In our portion this week, Miketz, we begin by discussing Pharaoh's dreams. Hearing that there may be one person capable of interpreting his complicated dreams, Pharaoh calls on Joseph and tells him that Joseph will use his powers to help Pharaoh. Joseph displays the values of kavod, honor, but also the value of tzimtzum, literally meaning contraction. Tzimtzum, for God, is the theological concept of withdrawing a part of God's presence to allow a temporal realm like ours to exist. As much as it is possible for human beings to emulate God, we too can practice Tzimtzum by intentionally choosing not to take up space, to take a step back, or in the case of Joseph, to refuse to take credit that is unearned, even if that credit may have freed him from bondage. He has learned the values that Torah tells us are important for us today. Joseph says to Pharaoh, Biladai, Elohim ya'ane et shlom paro. As soon as he can, Joseph tells Pharaoh that it is not Joseph who carries the power or wisdom to interpret dreams, but that God will answer. This is a far cry from the version of Joseph who ran to his brothers and even his parents and told them how his dreams meant they would all bow down to him. Joseph's growth shows him to be a real mensch and eventually the second most powerful man in Egypt. I'm not saying that you too will become chief vizier of Egypt if you follow Joseph's example, but in our own lives, we know there are moments for taking credit. Still, there are even more moments where humility, showing honor to one's family or co-workers, or taking a step back to let others shine, create a cycle of good in which everyone benefits. Shabbat Shalom.